So as you can see guys, I gave my corner a bit of a makeover and I thought I'd do a DIY video on the decorations that I created. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Okay, starting off, I got all these supplies at Walmart and I think I spent about $35 for everything. It wasn't very expensive. I found this very pretty frame already made and I'm just literally simply adding this starfish to the center. Decide where you want your starfish and then just cover all the different sides with glue. And be very careful when you go to place this because once you place it, there's no going back. It will not move, it's not going to budge, it sets pretty much instantly when it touches the material. But there you go. Very simple, very easy. This next one requires a bit more work, but it's still pretty simple and very easy. I found these seashells at Walmart and I just have some thin twine. I'm going to take the twine and measure out how long I want it and then cut it down to size. I'm putting these in the grooves, so I'm just going to put the glue in the grooves and then place the twine where I want it. Be very careful when doing this though because the glue is very hot and your fingers are getting very close to it, so I burned myself probably about a dozen times doing this, so be very careful. And there you have that, very simple and easy. Now I just picked out some seashells that I liked, and I was going to remove the key, but I couldn't get that darn thing off for anything, so I'm like, to heck with it, and I found this cute little broken shell that fit right in the little hole at the top of the key, so it worked out perfectly. You're just going to figure out what shells you want, where you want them, and then glue them to the... it's not really a picture. I'm just going to call it a picture. Next, to add a bit more of a touch to it, I'm taking, this isn't really twine, it's more rope. I'm taking this thick twine rope and I'm going to outline all the way around it, kind of to give it more of a frame effect and give it a really nice edge. Then just cut the corner off when you're done, and I did add more glue to kind of seal that corner in so it doesn't fray. And there you have it. This next one is incredibly simple, just a little more time consuming. I absolutely love this bottle that I found, or vase, whatever you'd call it, but I'm literally just taking the rope and I'm starting at the very top, putting glue down, and then going all the way around. I'm going to go down the top of the bottle until I reach where the bottle like transitions from a curve to straight down. You just keep going around and around and around until you get to that point. Then you just cut off the end and glue it, or fasten it. And that part's done. Next I'm going to be taking this pretty little seashell and some of the twine and I'm going to be super gluing the twine on the back of the seashell. Very simple, very easy. Then you're just gonna, again, glue this to the bottle itself. Cut off the excess string. Then I'm gonna take some more of the rope and super glue that on one more layer of it around it. That way I cover up the transition of attaching that string.
And again, just cut off the excess rope. And there you go, all done. This next one is the hardest and the most time consuming next to the net I did. I simply mixed the green color that I wanted and added a heavy amount of a thinning medium for acrylic paint to make it very, very transparent. I then took a sponge, obviously I used sponge, and put a layer of that all over it. As you can see, it's very, very transparent, but that's what you want. Then I went in with a second layer, but I did not put any layers after this because it would have been too opaque. Okay, while that is drying, I will show you how I make the net, like whatever you call it, that goes around it. I tied, I put a chair at each end of the table and tied a string across from one chair, chair to the other. And now I'm simply taking string, folding it in half, equal lengths on each side. Then as you can see, you have like a loop. You stick the string through the loop and pull it tight. And I'm gonna add about three more of them. When I did the larger net, I had to add way more than this. Oh, it took me forever. And even the one for the jar, I had to add a lot more, but I can't really tell you how many to add. You just have to judge it according to the size of the object you're trying to cover. Okay, now I'm taking the second string and the third string and you're simply going to wrap it around your fingers and tie a knot. Very just simple knot. When you have the knot, you simply pull it up to the position where you want it and then tighten it. Don't tighten it like super tight because if you need to change it later you won't be able to get it undone. Again, you're just going to go to the next two strings and do the exact same thing. and again with the other two. And here you'll see how I actually tightened it a little too low, so I had to loosen it and move it up to where it needed to be. Now for the second row, you're simply going to separate those two strings, and you're only gonna at first do two knots instead of three knots on this row, but we're gonna add in two more knots in just a second. Now as you can see for the end, you simply take the first and second string now, tie the normal knot like you just did, and line it up with your other knots and that will create the straight edge on each side. Like I said, I did this for my very large net that I did. It just took a lot longer, like that thing took an incredible long time. I, I think I spent six to nine hours. I mean, you see how big it is, and then I glued the seashells on, but it took me a very long time. Now this is the one I made for the jar. As you can see, there was definitely more strings attached to it. I had This one actually took me a while to make as well, even though it's small. So I just, the ends that were left, I left them long and then tied it around the jar so that I could pull it tight. Then I'm taking one of the strings and kind of using it to sew the ends together to pull them tight and stretch them. The other string I just ended up cutting short at the end. Now once I got to the end, I just tied it so that it wouldn't come undone. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm not just cutting these, I'm actually going to take the strings and then take strings from the opposite side of the jar. 
so that I can tie them together to pull the netting tight. But you see where the knot is that almost goes to the bottom of the jar? I don't want it to go past the bottom, so I tie it and stretch it just to where that knot touches the bottom of the jar. Then you're just gonna tie it tight. And I simply kept doing this, taking strings that were opposite each other and tying them and stretching it across the jar until I had all of them tied. As you can see here. Now I do not cut this off. You actually want to keep those because otherwise you just have a knot on the bottom of the jar and it wouldn't lay flat. So I actually took the strings that were left and super glued them around the bottom of the jar to create like this uh, coaster surface I want to say with the twine. I mean you can you can see what I'm doing. I just kept going around in a circular motion with the, the twine until I was happy with the results. Once you're happy with where you have it, then you just cut off the excess strings. I did end up going in and adding a few more just because it wasn't quite as balanced as I wanted it to be. It was leaning to one side a bit, but I don't think I put that in the footage. But it's basically just repeating what I just did. I just grabbed a little more twine and added it to it. Okay, next, to hide basically that transition where the netting starts, I'm going to go around the jar with the rope the same way I did the bottle, just starting at the top, going around and working my way down towards where that netting begins. Once you're done, just cut off the extra rope. Try to cut it off though in the back. See where I tied it together? That's the part that's going to be against the wall. So I cut it off there on purpose and then glued the little piece that was sticking up. I glued it down. And there you go. I did decide to add one more layer of rope on top just to completely cover the rim. But it's easy. You just go in and add the same way you did all the way around. Looks pretty nice. Next, I'm simply taking this sand and these pretty little seashells. You can pick out whatever seashells you want. I'm pouring the amount of sand I want in, and you can put as much or as little as you want, and then placing the seashells in that I want. I put more than what I'm showing here. I just didn't show it all on camera because that'd be very boring. And of course, the seashell rolls back. Well, there you go guys. I really hope you liked this DIY video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and again, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!